friends myself sandeep chaveri assistant professor department of civil engineering from watch institute of technology sholapur in today's session we are going to discuss building regulations and bylaws the learning outcomes at the end of this session students will be able to explain importance of building regulations and enlist and describe building bylaws let us consider the introduction building bylaws are the rules and regulations which are set by municipal authorities in order to avoid haphazard growth of cities and bring discipline in it nowadays we know that the population is going to be increase and the uh, urbanization is going to be increase so we should take care of these regulations and we should obey these regulations while constructing any building it may be residential it may be industrial building building bylaws there are many bylaws which differ from place to place and city to city few of them listed below are discussed here building lines open space requirement around buildings floor area ratio accommodation requirements height of buildings sanitary requirements building lines building line is a line up to which the plinth of a building adjoining a street or a future street may lawfully extend this line is called as setback or front building line it is a line laid down parallel to the plot boundaries beyond which nothing can be constructed towards plot boundaries let us consider the figure of building line and setback distances here from the center of the road up to this building line the distance is called as setback distance for industrial buildings we can say that building line as control line and in case of residential building that building line is called as building line itself now setback distance so setback distance is more for industrial building and less for residential building now there are some standard values of setback distances depending upon the type of road for national and state highways for residential building the minimum setback distance is 30 meter for industrial building it is 45 meter for major district roads in case of residential building the minimum setback distance is 15 meter in case of industrial building it is 24 meter other district road the minimum setback distance for residential building is 9 meter for industrial building it is 25 meter for village roads the minimum setback distance for building line of residential building is 9 meter and in case of industrial building it is 15 meter now let us consider open space requirement around buildings to meet lighting and ventilation requirement of rooms open spaces shall be provided inside and around the residential buildings in case of buildings adjoining streets fronting the street open space will provide scope for future widening of streets suppose your house is built on the road side and in future there is a chances of winding of road so we should think about that so that is why the open space which we kept for the house it should be more by considering this future winding of streets some standard open distances left inside plot bond around buildings are as follows on front and rear side it is 3 meter side margin is provided as 2 meter this may also vary from place to place and from city to city now let us consider floor space index it is also called fsi uh, fsi is nothing but ratio of total built up area to plot area in order to restrict height and construction area of buildings fsi ranging from 0.5 to 3 are generally laid down by authorities which differ at different places in a city Now the factors affecting FSI are type of construction, width of streets, 
fronting the building traffic load and locality and density parking facilities and local fire fighting facilities so things things to be consider while cons uh, while uh, taking fsi value in construction now accommodation requirements for good hygiene health and ventilation the minimum accommodation requirements are decided and they are as follows minimum accommodation so for habitable room area 9.5 meter square is the minimum requirement for habitable room width it is 2.4 meter room height 2.75 meter window area for wall on open side 10% of floor area total door and window area 1/7th of the room area total ventilation area 0.1 meter square for 10 meter cube of room space so these are the uh, guidelines and this may vary from place to place height of building apart from fsi the height of building is also restricted by the width of the street in front of the building here the table is given which gives some values of height of building for different widths if the width is w the height is 1.5 w plus front open space it is a general criteria if the width is up to 8 meter the height of building is 1.5 times width of the street if width of the street is 8 meter to 12 meter the height of building is 12 meter if the width of street above 12 meter the width of street and that is height of building should be equal to width of street and in no case more than 21 meter so this value may vary from place to place now the height of the building should be such that an imaginary inclined line drawn from the rear boundary at an angle of 63.5 degree to the horizontal should not get obstructed by the building height you can see from this rear end if you draw a angle of 63.5 degree with respect to horizontal line so it should not obstruct the height of the building that is a restriction in height of building minimum sanitation requirements the minimum sanitation requirements are given in the table for single room treatment one nani or sink of area 0.9 meter by 0.9 meter for residential building for every five single rooms or every three double rooms 1 wc of 1.2 meter square area 1 closed bath of 1.8 meter square area 1 urinal of 0.9 meter square area 1 washing place of 2.4 meter square area 1 metal dust bin with closed fitting cover in case of industrial buildings for one persons 5 meter square floor area that is minimum requirement for every 25 person or part thereof 1 wc is there now you are supposed to pause the video and answer these questions now these are the answers here as we know the floor space index is given by ratio of built up area to plot area so a is the answer correct in the second one building by laws ensure proper air light ventilation parking sanitation and safety of structures and this statement is true because for a living purpose we should ensure the ampi, uh, ample of light and good ventilation parking space good sanitation and safety of structures and good quality of air so these things are required hence this statement is true so these are the references which i have used for this uh, creation of video thank you